I mean, it was not very Yvette Young that because I cannot even. She's a there. very different she's style very of guitar player guitar to you, player. isn't she? Yeah. Anyway, hello, welcome again to another uh, Ibanez video in our day of Ibanez videos. Day of Ibanez, we shall call this. Day of Ibanez. Uh, if you're watching this on the day the video came out, we're bombarding YouTube with Ibanez videos today. Uh, yeah. Ibanez have taken over our social media channels, and we're telling you about all new things in 2021 yes. from Ibanez. Yeah. And before we do that. Oh, look, please like and subscribe to yeah. this channel. And just click in the pop-up uh, banner up here on the left-hand side of the screen because there will be so many other videos that's come out today. Uh, there. Go that's what he up. meant, yes. Yeah. Um, if you're not watching this on the day that the video went up, then I'm afraid you've missed all the social media shenanigans from Ibanez, but yep. hey, enjoy okay. anyway. So, this video is a is a mishmash, really. We've got uh, the new Yvette Young signature Tolman guitar. Yeah, which is, it's not it's not really new because I think it was out last year and we had Yvette in. So true. If you want to uh, check that video out, there'll be a link below. We where say it's not new. Made. It'll be the uh, uh, it's never been in the shops. I mean, it's new. It's been oh, okay. talked about, uh, but it's oh, never been sort really of in the shops. I, so. I thought we've had it before, but anyway, it's. I love this guitar. The color <laughs> is super cool, super isn't it? Color. The it's slime green sparkle. Slime green. Yeah, slime it's a green. wicked colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? a wicked colour. Like I love flecks the... of gold and Yeah, and I love the Tolman shaped guitars. I've always loved them and I don't know why they're not more popular than they than they have been. I don't know. The get weird it. thing with Tolman yeah. is Ibanez release it. The general public go, no, I don't really like it. So Ibanez a few years later go, oh, fine, we won't make it anymore. And then as soon as they stop making it, the general public goes, oh, that's very cool. the Tolman. Yeah, 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 exactly. starts playing it. And then every... anyway. Yeah, so so it's, it's, a cool, it's a cool shaped guitar. Um, it's different. I think it comes in some different configurations pickup wise. Does well, it? it did. Not this one. Uvets is a uh, 352 uh, uh, Seymour Duncan right. pickups in here. But I think in the past I've seen them. A little bit oh yeah, but they're still, as far as I'm aware, although there are Tolman basses and a weird yeah, like hybrid acoustic looking thing in the Tolman yeah. shape, there are still no electric no, guitars I, in the Tolman I, shape other than the Can you get on that? Because Yvette's it's one. very cool. Uh, so anyway, uh, older body, maple neck, illuminated <laughs> side dots. Uh, it comes in a, fa a funky tuning for like F something something from the factory with 11s on because she does uh, all this amazing tapping stuff. Uh, so you have to go and check that out because I can't do that. Uh, tone and volume, five-way selector switch, trim arm. I do like the bit where the jack plug goes in. This That's is cool, cool, isn't it? Proper fun, chunk, chunky so thing. So anyway. Pete's going to play that guitar, but yeah. the bulk of this demo is going to be about three new pedals from Ibanez. Now, uh, Ibanez, as you probably know, are the proud owners and inventor of probably the all-time best-selling drive pedal ever in the world, uh, Tube Screamer. Yeah. Um, but they have a big heritage of doing other kinds of pedals, including wah-wahs, Phasers, stuff like that. So here we are, three new pedals, Phaser Mini, Booster Mini, and a reintroduction of the WH-10 Wawa with extra features on the side wah, as well. Wah. Should we just start in order? Let's do it. I mean, we go into the, yeah, we can start from that side. That's so fine. So no you. pedals other than these three yeah. into uh, a clean Victory amplifier. Um, phaser has depth, feedback, and speed on the top, as you would probably expect to find on most phaser pedals. And then this kind of cool four stage or six t stage uh, option on the side. <laughs> four stage traditional phaser gonna sound yep. like, you know, I guess phaser pedals should sound. Uh, the six stage refers to like a classic rock phaser. So I'm kind of, the only sort of real classic rock phaser thing I can think of is Van Halen into a driven sound. So maybe it'll get a bit more like that, but, yeah, but we shall see. Didn't he also put the phaser in front of the mm. uh, drive? And I do actually have a drive pedal down here. So, so we'll we can that. actually whack it into a Well, let's stay clean pedal. whilst I just show people the extremities of depth and things like. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's quite a hard, it's, only... it's quite almost like a square wave kind yeah. of thing, isn't it? It starts to sound more like other phases I've heard with the depth control quite low, yeah. so that it's not... There's less... Uh, it's, it's less of a hard, like, wah yeah. wah. Actually, it's not that here. Beyonce, can you handle it? The no, that's that. No, it's can the, you handle it? That, what's the other Kelly. one called? Kelly. But, no, it's can the, you uh, handle it's, it? Um, it's the, what's her name? Uh, that's like the wind. That I'm singing. What's her name? Nick, what's her name? Come on. I don't even from, know what you from, sang. No. It's, it's not, no, that's, they stole a riff from, from this oh, did song. They? Is it yeah. Eye of the Tiger? Is that what you're No, saying? it's not Eye of the Tiger. What? Oh my God. What's her name? Come on, from Flipwood Max. It was in Flipwood Max. Oh, Come on. Um, uh, uh, oh, crikey, O'Reilly, uh, this is embarrassing. Back? Two hours later. Stevie. Stevie Nicks. Oh. Anyway, right. Faser. Lee. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm playing, sorry. Sta sixth stage. Yeah, go We're six going stage. sixth. So can you go like very drastic and then change between the four and the six, six yep. just so we can hear. It goes brum, 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 doesn't it? It's, and that one just goes You can, you can just hear, brum, brum, you can hear brum. two more lines of pitch modulation yeah. with slight delay on it can't you but yeah. anyway Facer's i don't know a, a, it's like uh, facer i'm you say we'll, we'll facer, I say faster. <laughs> we'll try it with for me at the moment i'm not a big user of of modulation pedals but i'm i prefer this i prefer the softer like wave. a chorus kind of thing yeah i think so yeah but we'll try it with some distortion so i'll put some distortion okay i'll go six now. stage and you and we'll go <laughs> It doesn't, Do you know it doesn't what it sound is? like it at all. No, it? and what it is, it sounds more like it when the, the, the note is short. Any, so any chords that you're leaving to ring and letting the thing go... Oh, 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 yeah, it's, it's too not, much, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas when you're doing that... Dun, 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 it, So there you go. Yeah, these um, are supposed to be short videos. That's the <laughs> mini phaser. Uh, that was uh, an attempt to play some Eddie Van Halen stuff on an Yvette Young guitar, not through Liar. a Marshall amplifier with the wrong phaser and, and with the a player that's not and, really a no. big kind of Van Halen. That was really guy. weird. So sorry about that. These are 99 pounds. <laughs> Um, the booster is uh, 69 pounds, 69? 69. 69 pounds. Um, Favorite and number. is basically um, bass, treble, and a level control. And then the manual kind of handily suggests if you want this as like a full range boost, you turn everything, you turn the bass and the treble all the way up and then set the boost to taste. Okay. If you want it as a mid boost, you turn the bass and the treble all the way down and then set to taste. Uh, and if you just like it to sound different to that, you put the knob somewhere else until you like the sound of it. I mean, it's technical so stuff like here. So put the knob somewhere else. I'm going full boost here. Okay. With everything on ten. So there's a clean sound. Hey. That's nice because it's not. It doesn't drive as much as you would think. Yeah. A normal boost does, but uh, um, yes, that was loud anyway. Yeah, that was loud, and I, I, I mean, tons and tons of level, and there's tons more to go as well. Try it. Yeah. Can we have a drive sound? Yeah, so here's a, here's a revival yeah. drive. Oh, yeah, that's fat. So, 
that's cool. Makes like, a big, like big difference. Like we'll it. do the same thing again now with this idea of a mid boost. So I've always mid been a fan of using a boost to boost. try and get that guitar frequency that wants to feed back to kind of cut through your typical kind yeah. of guitar solo type frequency. So here's yeah. no boost. That sounds like. more subtle yeah feels when, like it wants a humbucker as well to sort of yeah or just just feels little like bit, you're not a little bit more bass in there, in there maybe let me just see what i've got down here oh what are you doing i'm not it's just it's his. <laughs> I'm sure there's a booster. is very happy for not, me to play blues tonight. Yes, there's it's not much more we can tell you about a booster uh, <laughs> other than it's boost. The boost. Um, WH10 Wah Wah. Um, wow. It turns on and off much like a normal wah does. So really? it's a, a toe push to turn it on and off. However, on the side, we have the option to be in true bypass or buffered bypass mode, which for all you fa uh, fuzz fans out there will be rejoicing uh -huh. because we know that uh, sometimes wah into fuzz if you have a buffered wah does well we can demonstrate that like with the fuzz, fuzz so mm -hmm. you can choose yeah. we have a depth control so we can decide just how much wah we get from you know all the way off to all the way on how deep and how deep is your wah <laughs> how deep is your how deep is Oh, really? it's been a long day already. Um, <laughs> and uh, another cool thing, which I don't know why more wahs don't do this, you can switch it between guitar and bass. So you don't need to buy two wahs if you play guitar and bass. Um, but So we've got it on guitar mode, and it doesn't really matter what buffered mode we've got it in when we're using it in standalone mode. And I've got the depth all the way on 10. Oosh! <laughs> That's a lot of volume. That's a lot of. Is uh, it? it adds a lot of. Lot of um, it's almost like it boosts it. <laughs> <laughs> See all the Maybe gain that's in this there. Depth. Yeah, that's it. Almost works like um, and like it. Can I just say for people that have never seen a wah video before, this it, you don't need a friend <laughs> to to do this. It's, <laughs> you put it on the floor and you rock it with it's your the, foot while you're yeah. playing. Just thought I'd point that out for you. Yeah, just. Uh, uh, I can't see what this depth thing is really. It certainly adds like level top as end well. By but it also adds uh, like grunt. See what I mean? It adds yeah, a little I like bit of it. What happens if you set it on the bass set? More, 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 more cue. Wow. Wow. It's kind of a shame we didn't have this for our blindfold uh, wah shootout where I dressed up as a gimp in a green gimp. suit recently. Yeah. Um, let's try it in, that was true bypass mode. Let's try, well actually, let's try it in buffered mode and see if it actually just sounds any different standalone. Is it just?
people out there that understand this thing will be screaming at me saying something along the side lines of it doesn't matter what mode it's in when the pedal's off in it on it only matters what mode it's in when the pedal's off yeah. maybe that's what maybe that's what it is maybe it's is it buffered now let's try keep trying now prefer that one whatever that is that's true bypass okay off so yeah, let's, going let's through. try it with the fuzz and see if it makes okay. a difference with so the fuzz. So here's, uh, here's the Argo. That doesn't make much of a difference. Maybe it works when, it, when you put it on? When you turn the Maybe, maybe it on. works when uh, a YouTube channel that understands what it's doing reviews this product. Maybe that pedal but show needs to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, that pedal show needs to do I, I don't know. I, I pass. So I'm just going to turn the wah on. Yeah, let's see. Wah with Hit fuzz. It. And then swap it back to True Bible. Doesn't make much of a difference. No, does it doesn't it? make much of a difference. But let's try to do a little bit of gain instead. Just okay. And a hundred points to whoever out there doesn't make a wah mouth when, <laughs> when the wah's going on. That's not an active guitar or anything, is it? No. Okay. Uh, look, I have to apologise for that. Then there, there, there'll be geeky. There are geeky things on the internet about why fuzz pedals sometimes don't like being used with yeah, other buffered pedals. Depends on the uh, circuitry of the fuzz pedals. So maybe we didn't do the best no. demo job there, but I really like the wah. It, do you know what? It's very cool. It actually looks like it's made of plastic. And I was kind of thinking, oh, it looks a bit cheap. But then when you touch it, it's not plastic at all. It is just cast metal. Is it? Uh, yeah. And is it's it? just got this like rubberized little foot plate on it. It's very um, uh, retro. And I, I like the sound of yeah. it. It's 129 pounds. Not bad. I like the size of it as well. It kind of looks like it would fit on a pedal board a bit more easily than a, the bigger Dunlop uh, GCB95. Yeah, well, let's test something we haven't compared yet. Or the, to, to, oh. <laughs> See how big it is compared to the new Cryberry. This is the new yeah, Cryberry, cry cry right, okay. So, so there you, you go, so it's the same so, size as that, isn't it? Yeah, that's quite interesting, isn't it? So Dunlop brought this out uh, this year as well. So it's, this is bigger than their Mini Wah, but not as big as the full GCB95. So Ibanez with their, can you see that? Maybe I'll just, so there we are. Look, there is a um, size shootout between go. Ibanez that's interesting, and isn't that. It? So yeah, it's like Ibanez had it right all along. They had, they've had the foresight even 20 years ago to design this with um, pedal boards in Bruce mind. Bruce Foresight. <laughs> the, they had the Bruce Foresight 20 years ago. Ah, oh, another Christmas classic video. Yeah. Right, there we That's are. It. So that is a little Ibanez pedal video and an Yvette Young video for you too. Um, onwards and upwards. Yeah, click up here. Yes, uh, and join in with the fun like and subscribe. on our social media today.